Hi, YouTubers and what shavers everywhere. It's Mark at jarstune.com. I'm back with our video. Well, the great thing about doing the traditional wet shave and using a three-piece safety razor is sometimes you can mix and match razor heads with razor handles. And that's what I've done this morning. I have a Scotch and Stowe stainless steel razor handle with a Maggard Razors V3 razor head right on top of it. I bought these separately and I decided to pair them together. And here is the Scotch and Stowe handle. This is stainless steel. It's got terrific tight knurling to it and it's got that great shape. Gives you a good firm non-slip grip and it has just some really nice heft and weight to it. And of course here is the V3 razor head from Maggard Razors. This is one of their more aggressive razor heads and it's indistinguishable from uh, any other razor heads in my collection. So that's why I've paired the two because I don't want this getting mixed in with say some of the Edwin Jagger razor heads that it is, well, it looks a lot like uh, an Edwin Jagger or some of the other razor heads in my collection. But anyhow, we're gonna use that. We're also going to use a uh, Paul Silver razor blade. I'm gonna kick it off with some Vikings Blade Black Forest Pre-Shave Oil. This is Sandalwood and Red Cedar Scent. Like that a lot. We're gonna use Taylor of Old Bond Street's Sandalwood Shaving Cream. This is a beautiful scent, probably one of the nicest sandalwood scents out there. Like this a lot. I'm gonna use my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl to whip it all up. I'm gonna use my Samog 1800 uh, Bore Brush. Nice wooden handle, good length, like that one a lot. Gonna finish it off with an Osma Alum Block, some uh, Pinot Clubman Aftershave. Boy, this is a great scent to follow a sandalwood shave. And also some Avon Wild Country Aftershave Balm for upstairs and maybe around the face as well. So that's what we got going on. So let's put the shave, let's put the shave, let's put the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, just get some of this right here. One, two, three, that's all I need. Work that into the hands. Really massage it into the, the beard. It is a nice lightweight oil. It gives you really nice coverage. And some nice slickness and extra protection. All right, that's got it. Here's my uh, Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl. I'm just gonna dump that water out. There you go. And we'll get some sandalwood shaving cream here. I'm gonna get about, about that much right there. I'm gonna put that in there like that. I anticipate two passes, but you never know. I'm going to put that in the shaving bowl like that. Get my shaving brush here. I'm going to give it a slight ring. I don't want to get too much water out of there. And I'm going to put the remnant in there like that. Okay, very good. And we're going to go ahead and mix this all up and get that lather going. Ooh, that's lathering up rather nicely. Key is to have enough water in the brush. Kind of gauge that. If you're just starting out, it's going to take you uh, maybe a few attempts to really get it down as to how much cream and water in your brush, etc., will make for a good combination to give you a good lather. It looks like I'm getting a really nice lather here, and it's lathering up very quickly too. Look at that! Wow! Wow! Look at that! Look at that. That's, oh man, that's beautiful. Wow. Really, really very nice. Look, I'm getting heaps and heaps of lather already. I mean, it's just about over, look at that. Just about overflowing. Okay, that's what we want right there. It's about the consistency of yogurt. And you can see I got these nice, nice peaks already. Look how fast. Look how fast that was. Okay, so if you don't get it the first time, you know, work with it. You know, you'll figure out the ratio of cream to 
water in the brush, etc. Okay, so we're just going to paint this on. Look at that. That's beautiful. Got plenty, plenty in the bowl here. Wow, that is a thick, nice, thick, rich Santa beard of lather. That's terrific. Wow. Well, that's I don't have to put any more on there. Wow, that's a lot there. That's terrific. Ah, that's terrific. Look how fast that was. That's amazing. Okay, so let me get my razor blade here. This is my. Uh, Paul Silver. Okay. There it is. Paul Silver. Can you see that? Okay, blade balance and alignment, nice. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this up and get right to the shave. And I'm just gonna swirl in the sink to bring the temperature after that hot water rinse on the razor head so it's, it's at a nice temperature for me. All right, here we go, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, that's aggressive. That is aggressive. It really is, but... But the, uh, the oil and the shaving cream are giving me good cushion, good protection. It's a nice light touch. I prefer razors on the milder side, but every once in a while you gotta do this. Okay, all right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, yeah, that was a good first pass. That's, I'm only gonna need two passes with this razor. I'm, that's it, two passes, that's all I'm gonna need. And again, a lot of nice shaving cream here. Just, just terrific. I mean, look how much I have there. Probably too much, but that's okay. Air on the side of, of having a little more. Just in case you need to do a third pass or touch up, but I think I'm only, I think I'm only gonna need two passes here. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go with pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grain.
Boy, that is cutting through whisker like you wouldn't believe. That is aggressive. Gotta use a really light touch. It's uh, aggressive for me, that is to say. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two passes and I'm done. A third pass is probably going to be a little too much for me. Probably, uh, dare say it could cause some, hurry up. I dare say it could cause some irritation uh, because it would be a little too much for me. But this was really, wow, what an aggressive, what a, what an aggressive and a close shave I got from uh, from this V3 razor head. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, my two final rinses, warm water and cold water. Here's my warm water rinse. Nice, nice. A little bit of remnant slickness there left, but warm water rinse seem to get rid of it. The uh, cold water rinse will get uh, whatever might be left behind. So here's my cold water rinse. Very nice, very, very nice. Wow, that's great, that's brilliant. I love that part of the wet shave, that cold water rinse. Got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow, really nice. Wow, that's just, ter that's terrific. That is just, just terrific. Okay, we're gonna use my Oz, my Allen block and see what kind of feedback we get. And really, a third pass would have been too much for me. I, I can, you know, two passes, I was done. All right, here is my Oz, my Allen block. Gonna wet that under some cold water. Here we go. Well, no stinging, a few little zings here and there. Uh, all in all, a really nice close shave without any irritation and uh, no nicks or cuts. But again, I used a nice light touch and I made sure to have a good base of protection with the uh, Vikings Blade Black Forest Pre Shave Oil. And of course, the uh, Taylor and Old Bond Street worked very, very well, really well. So, you know, I had good cushion, good protection, good slickness to uh, really make sure that the, uh, the aggressiveness of the razor wasn't going to uh, irritate my skin. Okay, just dry that off, put that in the dish like that, let that air dry overnight, it'll be ready for my next shave. Let me mop up a little bit because I'm, I'm like a hippo in a water hole here. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back here to uh, finish up the shave and uh, tell you a little more. Okay, that, uh, that dried off rather nicely. Just run it through some water, you know, give it some gentle rings, give it some shakes, and just you know, run over a towel. And uh, really, it dried out nicely. Uh, almost as good as uh, some of the synthetics I've used. But uh, this brush, as you can see, it's bloomed quite a bit. It's broken in quite a bit. So it's been a really, really nice brush to have. The Samoag 1800. And if I didn't mention it before, well, I mentioned it before, I'll just mention it again. 
this Grand Sherman shaving bowl does a great job. It uh, does double duty. Uh, not only is it great for uh, shaving creams, but it's also large enough to where you can get a soap puck, a shaving soap puck, and just drop it in there. And uh, really, this is terrific. So if you're looking for a gift for the wet shaver in your life, this is great for creams and also uh, shaving soap pucks. Really, really very nice. And it's got that micro bead blast in there to really help generate a lather. Well, you saw that with the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. It just generates a lather like that. All right. So here we go with some Pinot Clubman aftershave. Love this stuff. Boy, this has just got a classic old school barbershop scent. That's the only way I can describe it. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice, nice scent. And I can feel it giving me a little bit of brace, a little bit of bracing on the skin, kicking in a little bit, really nice. Here's the Wild Country. This scent complements the uh, the Pinot Clubman. Very, very close to it, really. Uh, here we go, a little bit upstairs. Okay. Great shave, <laughs> really. Wow, that was a great two-pass shave because I think a third pass for me would have been a disaster. But really, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts. I got a nice, close result. Uh, and, and that's the thing, I get a nice, close result without any irritation, without any razor bumps, ingrown hairs, or anything like that. That's the beauty of the safety razor. Now, I dare say, I can't use this V3 razor head every single day in my shave. My skin borders on the sensitive side, and I'm really better off with, say, the Vikings Blade Chieftain, the Chieftain Junior, Fatip Grande, razors, Edwin Jagger, Merker HD34C razors that are more on the neutral to mild side uh, for, for my shave. And with those razors, I usually have a shave with two or three passes, and uh, they work wonderfully well for me. But every once in a while, I like to pull this out, I'd like to show you what else I have in my collection. And this V3 razor head, <laughs> yeah, it's aggressive. Now, I think they make one, one that's, uh, they make a razor head that's one up from that. I think it's the V3A, I think. And that's even more aggressive than this. Uh, but um, yeah, this is why with my adjustable razors, I don't turn them all the way up because I just don't think that, uh, uh, I just, I'm just a fair skinned guy. I don't think uh, my, my skin can tolerate uh, a razor that, that that is that aggressive. But it's nice to have this variety and change of pace and try different things out like that. Now, uh, if you're a beginner wet shaver, uh, a young guy, get a mild razor like the uh, Vikings Blade Chieftain Junior, or uh, Vikings Blade Chieftain, or uh, an Edwin Jagger DE89L, uh, Merker HD34C, something on the mild side. Work with that for a while, uh, six months, a year, something like that. And then you can try something like this. Work on your technique, uh, work on building a lather, those kinds of things. And then uh, you can move up to this every once in a while and really get that really nice sensation uh, of, you know, two passes. And uh, <laughs> that was a great shave. It was, really was a nice, nice shave. Very, 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 very close. Uh, I think the Paul Silver Blade helped quite a bit, but really, this is a really terrific combination. One word about the handle, though. Uh, in doing my uh, uh, east to west, across the grain pass, in, in holding this handle, what I like to do is, with a razor handle, I like to get my finger out there like this and guide it. This handle really, what didn't, really didn't lend itself to that kind of a grasp. You can see here that, that because of this, this indentation here, these curves here, it really didn't work too well. I found myself grasping down here, which is what I didn't want to do. So um, not a bad handle, but for me, that uh, across the grain pass going this way. Uh, this way, not too bad, but this way where I grasp it like this and kind of pull it uh, across my face. Uh, this handle didn't really lend itself too well to giving me a, a good grasp. Uh, and, you know, really, uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to compensate for that next time around. But I think uh, 
a more traditionally um, designed handle that's a little straighter and everything is better for me. They're like that, where the shaft is nice and straight, good knurling, and I can just grasp it like that. So that's, that's probably the only downside of this handle that I came across. But other than that, it was a great shave, really, really nice and smooth, two passes, Good protection from the pre-shave oil, the Vikings Blade Black Forest pre-shave oil, and of course the Taylor of Old Bound Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream just whipped up heaps of lather. lather. And uh, the uh, Samoag 1800 uh, shaving brush was great, along with the shaving bowl. Everything, combination came together, gave me a really, really nice shave. Okay, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please subscribe, uh, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know, do you have this V3 razor head or even this Scotch and Stone handle or a similar handle? Uh, let me know, I'm really interested. Uh, please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.